Jacobs. Hello, my name is Darina Basson. Hello everyone, my name is Nashi. And I'm finally able to say that I'm a final year Vietnamese science student. It has always been my dream to become a veterinarian and I was determined to do so. I even took the scenic route to get you. I studied animal science for two years before I got accepted into veterinary science, but looking back, I wouldn't change a thing. When I first got to OP, I kept thinking that one day they'll realize they made the wrong choice by choosing me, so I spent most of my time behind the books. Eventually, I realized there's so much more to OP than just studying, and during my time here, I joined the legal interest group where I eventually joined the Kong with a leading role as a puppy trainer. I also became part of the big interest group where I was a manager of our Sal Emmy, where I led the younger students in managing her reproductive and vaccination cycles. I also took on the challenge of doing the feed formulations during the iconic feed of the feedlot challenge in fifth year. And initially I felt way out of my depth, but eventually I found that it was an amazing opportunity to learn so much more than we ever could in class and it has become one of my fondest memories. Eventually all of the theoretical knowledge and training in the skills lab came together the day when we could enter clinics. Initially you feel very unsure of yourself but then you learn that you have all the tools in your toolbox that you need to be a successful veterinarian whilst under the guidance of one of or some of the best specialists in the country. You're also in the safety net of OP where you are allowed to make mistakes. If I had to choose a few of my favourite memories over the past few years, it would definitely be practicals, anatomy week in the dissection hall and starting clinics where you get to apply all the knowledge you've gained during your degree. You also begin to understand how everything is applied and you learn a lot of new skills from top class clinicians within the hospital. During clinics you start to see in what direction you would like to go after your degree and sometimes it ends up being the exact opposite of what you thought you'd be going in. Welcome to a whole new world and please enjoy every moment of it. My personal experience at OP I can say has been a positive one and a great one. I've made some uh, great memories there and I also believe that we have the best campus. Um, the sunsets at OP are just top tier. You have to see them and there's just also so much opportunity for you to grow as an individual because um, we have so many clubs and societies for you to be involved with. Um, I'm personally involved with VETSCO and OPCF and also we have so many sporting codes that you can also uh, be, take part in. Um, for me as an athlete, sport is a stress reliever and nothing beats kicking a ball or catching one after a long day of practicals and lectures. And uh, my advice to anyone coming to OP is that you, know, you need to find the balance between your academics and your social life because, because it can get overwhelming from time to time and you need those people or those activities that help you take your mind off the stressful academics. Studying veterinary science requires a lot of resilience and hard work and there are times when you feel stretched but it's in these uncomfortable times when you develop most and grow most as a person and as a veterinarian. You are entering a new chapter in your life and we are all so excited for you to experience all that OP has to offer. Just remember that each and every one of you deserve to be here and you must never doubt yourself. I am a big fan of Dr. Sue, so I'll leave you with this quote. You have a brain in your head and feet in your shoes and you can steer yourself in any direction you choose. Welcome to OP. Welcome to Onderste Poort, where the hardest part is getting out. Basically, uh, you just need to make time to work hard and make time to play even harder. Hi, my name is Hannah Dietlifs and I have recently qualified as a vet nurse as part of the class of 2021. Hi there, I am Dr. Narissa, a new graduate of veterinary science. If I could go back to first year me and give her one piece of advice, it would be to keep going. You will make it. 
The next three years, I'm not going to lie, are going to be full of challenges, both academic and personal. But keep going. Keep trying to find the beauty in what is around you and always do your best. Take time to relax, maybe enjoy one of Opie's legendary sunsets. And before you know it, you'll be standing where I am, looking back fondly on your memories of OP and thinking to yourself, I made it. This is some advice to my first year self. Go boldly into this new chapter of your life. Keep shining and keep being unapologetically you. Challenge yourself every day because you definitely, undoubtedly, can do everything you set your mind to. You have what it takes. Fly as high as you can. Every day is an opportunity to do something you love. Every challenge is an opportunity to learn more about yourself. Cherish every smile, embrace every hardship, and celebrate every achievement, big and small. Good luck on your new journey. You're going to be doing amazing things.